Hello people, welcome back to Dutch Wardling. Today with a new Thunder Models kit. It's been a long while that we see something of Thunder Models appear on this channel. Well, I'm very thankful to them for sending me something new. And this is the 135th skill US Crawler 60. Uh, it's kit number 35006. And as you can see the typical Thunder Model box art. Very nice drawn. On here some I already opened it, so normally it's sealed. Oh. Got some uh, right up here, and if you want to read it, uh, it doesn't fit. Oh, it will fit in frame like this. Just pa press pause. It's kind of a little bit of an angle because of the light, but if you press pause now, you can read everything, and it's been two seconds, so it will be long enough. Here on the side you got again the name, the scale, the number, the box art. And then here it's a 500 plastic parts sprue A, B, twice C, D, three times F. With slide and multi side slide and all the detail, a PE sheet, glue and paint are not included. This is not a toy, keep away from children. Made in China. Trumpetermodel.com. And here again the front. On the back you got the coming soons, which is a really Nice thing, you got the Canadian uh, 20 uh, trailer, the Canadian F30A truck, a flatback, a Canadian C8 C heavy utility, a water tank, and a Mofor, uh, Morris Bofor gun truck. So, nice stuff coming up, hopefully, to be seen soon. Let's open this kit. <coughs> This is a tight fit. The sprues fit in. Instruction sheet is like a tight fit. So what's oh the photo edge. So let's put this aside. This is all there's a lot of sprues in here. Tiny box, but a lot of sprues. And everything fits friction free. <coughs> So this is the flip open box, so no insert or anything, so let's put it aside and let's start with the color collides. I like color collides, especially these ones because they're nice, they're laminated but in full color. And as you can see here it's uh, a gold yellow, it's uh, faded here and there, so you can actually see some weathering on the uh, drawings here which I like. Then we got a, I'm guessing this is olive trap. Yeah, this is an olive drop base with mixed in grey by the looks of it. And here we got a blue grey one. There are. Yeah, there are no unit markings or anything on here, so it's just the base color. And that's it. And yeah, looking good. Then we got the instruction sheet. It's a little bit bent, it's a little bit tight in that box. It's only the instruction sheet, so that's not a really, really big problem. I had a kit the other day that had a little bit more problems with a tight kit. So, so again, here's the write up about the tractor again. And then we start building with the cat style drawings with the engine first, the bark, belts, cylinder heads here for four cylinders. All of the sides going on here, building up the engine. So this is going to be a nice, nice engine to detail up. I think this thing is almost completely engine. So <coughs> manifolds for the exhaust pipe. All here, manifolds there. All small stuff going on. I don't know the naming exact of everything. So here, smokestacks or. Well, not so much. Yeah, yeah, no. Basically, they're just the exhaust. So, more and more going on here on the engine. There's a lot of steps on the engine, but then again, this thing is almost on the engine. So, uh, this is the chassis that's going to be put together with the base, almost like a big counterweight. The radiator here, then the flywheel, and the engine are placed. Then the radiator is placed with the photo edge uh, 
fan, radiator fan, and some stuff on the base here, and some more on the base. <coughs> and then we have here work, yeah, on the back place in the dressing where the fuel tank is and where the driver is sitting. Everything, gear shifters going on here, as you can see. I guess this is something of the steering wheel, steering sticks, brakes, gear shifter. Uh, yeah, all sorts of stuff. Handbrake. <gasps> Damn. Uh, fuel tank. The bench for the driver. It goes in, as you can see there. You got some transmission covers, I would say, here. This is something you shouldn't glue for some reason. Yeah, I'm keep looking over to the uh, the uh, color cross so I can see where this goes. But I can't. Something you shouldn't glue. I'm guessing you should glue this, but you shouldn't glue that. Because that's not very clear. Because if you don't glue this, it just falls off. <coughs> then you're starting the... Uh, Suspension and the wheels, the drivetrain basically. <coughs> Make two, right and left, of course. Uh, return rollers, road wheels, sprocket wheel, all going on here. Idler, going on the back with a tensioner. So this is a, uh, a track tensioner here. Cut one millimeter of string length for this kit. Which spring? Oh, it's just a you need to cut off one mil for this kit, so they're probably gonna be needed on a different kit. Same on the other side, so that's no problem. Uh, the parts go on, wheel sets, the towing eyes going in, the track links are made, and these are multiple track links. And they don't say do not glue, so they're not workable, I, or you can click them. I wonder if they're workable or not. They look good though, at least on the picture. They go on here. Uh, there's only 32 track links each side, so that's not that bad. Some little bit more work on the uh, cockpit. Here, lights going on, rear lights going on, front lights going on here. There's a P part that goes on here, there's a name. And yeah, the name is on here as well on the piece sheet. <coughs> and there's some photo edge going on the radiator on the side as well. And then you've got the iconic 60 on the side of the radiator going on here in photo edge. It's already solid. And then there's some parts more where the driver sits and you're done. So it's 15 steps. There's not uh, super complicated. But here's a drawing or a cat drawing of it, and it actually looks pretty cool. Which is something different, it's something that from the model is good at. So I'll do the photo edge first, I got it here anyway. So, and let's see what we got. There's some copper wire, I'm just gonna leave that in, that's not very interesting. Otherwise, I'm gonna loot it, and I'm gonna need it, and then boom. So, it's a little bit bent, that's a shame. So you got the 60, you got the 60 here. You got the Caterpillar logo, you got it here. And this is gonna be a beep to clean up and put it on there. There's gonna be a lot of beeping about this one here. Here's another 60 for the other side of the radiator. Uh, radiator fans, and all, all plates, everything. The Looks good. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand so you can see it. There's the caterpillar. 60 there. Instruments there. There's the 60 there. There's the. So that's it. <coughs> that's just the P. There's not a lot of P, but there's. Especially the caterpillar parts that will be. A small nightmare to get off there, so let's continue to the plastic parts. 
nice sealed bags. It's always gonna be happy that there are not those damn staples in there. And I cut it too short. Damn. Now well, let's see, we got the sides of the. This is not the engine. Oh, the rollers are already placed on the sides. So you don't have to do the rope wheels, they are already molded on. I didn't even notice that looking through the instructions to be honest. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. This is the base. It's not the only thing. This is the flywheel. There's some frames. Uh, manifold, engine, exhaust manifold, bench. You know, kinds of small stuff. I'm gonna see, get it a little bit closer to myself. The molding is pretty cool. There's some rolled steel texture to it. The bolt detail and rivet detail is high. The road wheels are. Oh, here you can see the other road wheels. There are some exacto pin marks here, but you probably won't be seeing these because these are on the inside. And you can see some bench. Bench has a little bit, it has a, two different textures to it as well. Because of course, you sit there and it will be steel. Texture to the road wheel sections. I don't see any flash. Let's see if there's a release date on the box. Oh, I didn't show you that. Oh, I didn't show you that because I didn't know it was there. Let me see, is there a date? You can see a date on the box, so I can't help you with that, but I think it's a pretty new kit. This year or a year 2019 or 2018, one of the two. I'm guessing, I think 2019. Yeah, this looks good. There's no detail on the other side, so no need for me to turn it around. So let's see. Ah, oh, come on. Oh. Found the model stuff here. There's the base. Eventually the driver sits and the uh, fuel tank, barrel, the fuel barrel, I guess you can call it best. Let's see if I can get a close-up of these so you can see. Then it kind of tick, picks it up. You take three of that stuff. I hope we... Yeah. It's reflecting in the, screen, in the little screen too, uh, too much so I can't see what you're seeing. Sorry. Hopefully you saw it. Straight. Uh, like you can see, there's all. Oh, it's moving. All kinds of stuff there with detail on it. Oop. And then there's this plate. And this is the first screw. <coughs> Safe. It's going back in the back. Next pro <coughs> fuel tanks, radiator, engine block. Mud guards. Oh, I like the texture on the radiator. They very much so do like these. This looks good. There are some indentations on this, but then again, uh, I think you glue this to this, and you got the. Isn't. Hmm. The engine. There's not a lot to see because you're gonna add a whole lot to the sides, of course. Riveting detail. Looks very good. And the fenders here. The 
a few things just you, know, you have to put them together so you will have a pretty big seam which you have to uh, carefully sand away but the rest is all small parts There's some detail on this part. Oh, sorry, on this part. And it almost, I don't know if it's with on purpose, looks like um, paint where, or, well, yeah, the paint job, the paint job of your car, so to speak, so the lack, lacquer, where rust is bubbling from underneath, those rust bubbles you get. It's almost like it's made like this. So I don't know if it's on purpose, but if you can paint it well, it's cool. So, let me show you the general parts. We start with the radiator and the grill. And then there's part of the engine. We have no detail on that side or that side because it's going to be covered with stuff on the other side. Sorry, I have to do it with two hands. Down there, got the covers for the transmission the sides for the mud flaps I think and some miscellaneous stuff there and some small stuff there as well <coughs> there and then there's the fuel drum into as you can see and then there are these are the fenders which are actually pretty thin. There's a raised side there, but you can see how thin these are. That's cool. Let's put these back in. Then we got a small, very small uh, screw here. Seems to be very specialized. The sprue gates are already breaking off here. As you can see. Hopefully it didn't damage anything. No, it didn't. So <coughs> these are the girders or the beams for the chassis. With a lot of rivet detail in there, which looks really good. There's some rivet detail here as well, which looks very good. Shifter by the looks of it. Some engine rods. And stuff and there's some ejector pin marks on here together with I don't think these are ejector pin marks but tabs so you can actually fit it and there are ejector pin marks here as well this is an open bow chassis so I don't know how much you will see of these and these oh they're pretty in so, no. Can break it off. How much you will be able to see these when the engine is because I think this is the inside, so the engine block will cover this, I guess. But and I hope because there is a if you need to recreate this texture on the outside, yeah, you're kind of out of luck. I'm going to show you the normal side first. <coughs> oh, come on, Bombly. Would lie still. And if you can see all the small stuff, there's longer plates. There we go. Up and there. I the good the chassis parts and close up you can see the rivets. Let's turn it around. It's a very small sprue. Hopefully you can see the surface texture as well. Like I said, uh, that doesn't show up on camera for me, so I don't know. But there you can see the ejector pin marks and between those three only the middle is ejector pin mark. So I'm hoping this is the inside. Because if you can't see the 
uh, texturing and you will need to remove all those check the pin marks getting the texture texture back is a ball ache to be honest so we got two back screws left as you can see these are two in the same and these are three in the same quite quickly and now you know why these are the track links so you know why they got 500 pieces that's three in the same This is screw C, where you got two of the same in the box. You got the very, very big sprocket wheel and the idler, the transmission cover, and all sorts of the, the uh, springs, which you need to cut off a millimeter for this kit. <coughs> <coughs> yes, I'm still having a cold. I think it's chronic by now. Uh, lights. This is for the tracks, I think. No detail on the other side, so that saves me having to turn around the sprue. Yes, I am lazy. And yes, you know that. And there we go. All the small parts. Close up of the uh, springs, which you need to cut off a mill. For this kit, and down there, some more stuff, more stuffs, more stuffs. Uh, and there's the idler and the massive sprocket wheel. Like I said, there's no detail on the other side, so I don't have to show it. This is going back with its sister sprue. And then there's the uh, track sprues, which are three in total. Three, not three. They're not three, they're captured inside of a sprue. So. Blade shaped track pads. They're not all completely clean. There's a little bit of flash in some of those holes. But so you check it out if you want a completely clean build, you have to draw them out. The connection tab from the tracks, uh, eyes, rings. So <coughs> basically the same detail on the inside as on the outside so again I don't have to turn this around it's gonna be a short view because they're basically all the same and as you can see there oh you can see what especially with this one there there's a little bit there almost completely closed so check it or don't it's up to you. And these are the connection parts. And then you go, oh, damn, I almost put it in my eye. The rings there. And more connection parts. So, and like I said, there are three of these. Back in. That takes us to clear parts. I'm not even going to pour it, take me to Oh well, it's a resealable bag, so why not? The massive amount of clear parts, or three lights. Mm, that's it for the clear parts. But hey, it's in the kit, so I show it here. Unless it's a copper wire, then I don't. So. So far, my short review, I guess it's short, about 24 minutes, my sh and I want to show you these, see the, the rendering of the kit, which is hidden underneath the flap, that's why I didn't show it before. 
So, the Thunder model 135 scale US Crawler 60, kit number 35006 by Thunder Models. I think I already said that. Uh, first off, thank you very much, Thunder Models, for supplying me with this review sample. It's always great to see products of them. Uh, go to their website, fundamentals.com, where you got this uh, information about their uh, their distributors, distributors, the place where you can buy this, and the reviews as well. So thank you, fundamentals, for this kit. How do I think of this? What did I think of the kit? It looked good. It's definitely something else. It's a very iconic crawler with the uh, engine or cylinders overhanging so much. So it's going to be cool as a, uh, cool as a weathering as well because you got the oil and everything from the engine and the dirt because it's all open. Uh, it's going to be cool as a standalone but you can also do Tons of diorama work with something like this, and all in all, uh, I've built multiple fundamental models by now. They fit so far, has all been great on them, so I'm not doubting they fit on this one. Will be good as well, there's no doubt in my mind. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna enjoy this very much. So, thanks, fundamentals again. Uh, to you people, I hope you enjoyed this review. I know I'm uh, rambling a little bit lately but hey and if you like this please thumb up if you didn't thumb down uh, if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe because you really will help me be helping me out and if you want to know when I'm posting more of my reviews hit that bell and make sure you got the notifications so again have a good day bye bye